Yesterday afternoon, we finished doing the etching and the cleaning on the wing panel, and we let it set overnight, so now it's nice and dry. So this morning, what we're going to do is get the primer on it. Uh, before we get started out there, we're going to talk a minute inside here about the uh, things that you're going to need prior to start on the uh, priming. Of course, the first thing you're going to need is a spray gun. And on this particular spray gun is a DeVilbus Finish Line 3 with a 1.3 millimeter nozzle in it. We've got our uh, uh, 7520 Smoke Gray Eco Prime. We're going to put the Smoke Gray because this airplane is going to be painted in Signia White and the smoke gray will give us a little bit of a contrast between the primer and the top coat so it's easy to see the first coat go on. We've got our uh, mixing paddles, we've got our paint filters to where we're going to do the final uh, straining into the spray gun. We've got our mixing container, and this is large enough to do the initial uh, um, batches at a time that we're going to spray. We've got our a dual cartridge organic vapor respirator. We want to be sure that anytime we're spraying anything in any of our products of the Stewart Systems, this uh, organic respirator works quite well on without using a fresh air supply system. And that's provided that you have plenty of ventilation through your exhaust fan, which we have here. And then we have a scale that we'll use more when we get into the two part poly. We won't necessarily need that on the primer. So we're going to take a few minutes to get everything ready, then we're going to come back, we're going to start mixing the paint, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, now before we uh, start putting the primer on, we need to give this uh, wing a final uh, wiping off and blowing it. It's nice and dry from uh, spending the night in the spray room, so uh, if a little bit of dust or anything has gotten on it, we're going to go ahead and clean that off, then we're going to go back in the spray, uh, mixing room mix our paint and come back and start putting the primer on it. So let's, uh, let's we're going we're gonna to blow it and wipe it off right now. This towel that we're using is the same towel that we're using putting the, the cleaner in the hex. It's an 18 inch uh, terry towel. It's new, never been used, so it's not contaminated. And this is the only thing that we're going to wipe this wing down with prior to putting the primer on it. Okay, that's got the wing blown off. Let's go inside the mixing room and mix the primer and let's uh, start spraying. We're ready to start mixing the paint now. And on this wing, we're going to mix uh, 50 ounces of the primer and we're going to mix 5 ounces of distilled water. That's a 10 to 1 ratio. And you need to give it a, a little bit of distilled water to make sure that it goes on nice and smooth. And if it, uh, we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit when we start spraying. When you first start spraying, if the primer doesn't go on as smooth as what you think it should, then it's time to do one or two things. Either change the viscosity of the primer or change the air pressure of your gun. This primer should go on very smooth so it's real easy to sand once it's put on. We're going to go ahead and first thing, you always want to stir your paint prior to uh, pouring it out of the container. And so normally it doesn't take a great deal of, of, of stirring, but you do need to, uh, to uh, be sure that anything that's settled to the bottom is in nice suspension. We'll just take a few seconds here and stir it up. So that's nice and uh, smooth there, so that'll be fine. This is a graduated container, so it's real easy for me to see when I've got 50 ounces. One nice thing about this is that whenever you get through you can put it back in the container because it's water cleanup and the only thing that it would do is be to dilute you down a little bit so you need to pay attention if you keep putting it back in there that you might get thinner and thinner. That's where if you wanted to you could use a viscosity cup and it would be somewhere in the neighborhood of 25 to 28 seconds is what we're looking for. I'm going to use a second container to where we can get the 5 ounces of distilled water. I have to kind of 
guess at it, we've got it just a little bit above the four ounces, so that should be just right. We'll take our spray gun. We're going to open the fan all the way open because we're spraying a large area. We want the fan completely open. We're going to turn the uh, fluid control completely off and on this spray gun we put some index marks here on the back with a felt marker so you can see them. This particular gun comes without reference lines and so we're going to go ahead and put the primer in it and then we'll go out and turn the air on and we'll set our uh, air with the trigger pulled to 22 pounds and if it's not quite as smooth as we want when we're spraying then we're going to bump that up a little bit. So let's go ahead and put the primer in it. I usually don't paint, uh, usually don't fill the hopper completely full because it is very heavy. It's about uh, two thirds full there and that works quite well. Okay, we're in the spray room. We're getting ready to spray. We've got the primer and the spray gun. We're going to hook up the air to it and we're going to pull the, the trigger. We've got the fan wide open. Our fluid control is off. The two stage trigger, we're going to pull the first stage. And we're going to set the air to 22 pounds. There's 20. Okay, there's our 22 pounds, and then we're going to open the fluid control approximately one and a half turns, and we're going to see how that works from there. We may have to stop and make an adjustment. We're going to start on the bottom of the wing. We're going to do the edges first. We're going to stand it up, put the first coat on in the vertical. We're going to roll it back over, do the edges again, and then do the top part, and then we're going to immediately go right back and give it the, the second coat, which we're going to give this wing one cross coat of primer. That's all it needs. So we're going to turn on the exhaust fan and we'll get started. Okay, I just refilled the spray gun. We came back out and turned the wing back over where we started from. And we're gonna wait a few more minutes. Normally, if the temperature is warm, it will be ready to put the second coat on right away. It's fairly cool in here. We're probably 65 degrees. And you can see a little bit of shine left in the primer. And as long as there's a little shine and it's not dulled out yet, it's not ready for the second coat. You need to wait until it completely dulls out and then we'll start the second coat. So we're going to give it a few minutes yet. Yeah. 